How does a modular advanced armed robotic system work? Are you ready for a glimpse into the future of warfare? Imagine a highly sophisticated robotic system that can navigate any terrain, detect and engage targets with lethal accuracy, and operate autonomously without human intervention. How is such a system possible? How does it work? Let's start. What exactly is Mars and why was it created? The Modular Advanced Armed Robotic System, Mars, is a remotely operated ground robot designed for military use. It was developed by Kinetic North America, a defense and security company with the purpose of providing soldiers with a tool to assist in missions that could be dangerous or difficult to execute. Mars is equipped with a variety of weapons, including machine guns, grenade launchers, and non-lethal options like tear gas and stun grenades. Its modular design allows for various components to be easily added or removed, depending on the specific needs of a mission. Mars can be used to support law enforcement agencies in situations such as hostage rescue, bomb disposal, and riot control. The robot's advanced sensors and weapon systems make it a valuable asset in these scenarios. Design and Manufacturing The Mars platform was developed to enhance home comfort and improve security at forward locations through reconnaissance, surveillance, and target acquisition RSTA. The system can be customized to deliver non-lethal, less lethal, or lethal effects as required. When fully loaded with sensors, weapons, and ammunition, the platform weighs 369 pounds, 167 kilograms. Its battery can power the system for 3 to 12 hours, and it also features a sleep mode that can last up to a week. The Mars can reach a speed of 7 miles per hour, 11.27 kilometers per hour, and travel up to 800 to 1,000 meters from its controller. It is equipped with seven cameras for driving, situational awareness, and targeting, which can operate in daytime or thermal modes. The Mars is armed with an M240B machine gun and four M203 grenade launcher tubes on a 360-degree rotating turret. It carries 450 rounds of 7.62 by 51 millimeter NATO bullets and four 40 mm grenades in the four M203s. The grenade launcher tubes on the Mars platform can be loaded with different types of grenades, such as sponge, buckshot, and tear gas for less lethal purposes, or high explosive and airburst grenade for lethal purposes. Each tube can be loaded individually, enabling the operator to switch between lethal and less lethal capabilities as required. Other notable features include an onboard loudspeaker for communication, a siren, a laser dazzler, and a gunfire detection system. Additionally, the Mars can be equipped with a manipulator arm that can lift up to 120 pounds, 54 kilograms, and handle objects such as 155 millimeter artillery rounds, as well as pull objects weighing over 300 pounds, 140 kilograms. Drawbacks. The deployment of Mars and other armed unmanned ground vehicles has faced obstacles due to the reluctance of military leaders to utilize remote-controlled weapon systems at ground level. One of the concerns is collateral damage, as the bullets fired by the machine gun can travel further than sensors mounted on the robot. The Defense Department has agreed that any lethal force applied by an unmanned system will be decided by an individual, not by the system autonomously. Ground combat commanders are more interested in utilizing autonomous ground robots for supply purposes to lighten the load of infantry soldiers. However, the idea of autonomous ground robots that can shoot has been compared to landmines, as they cannot be directly controlled. While remote weapon systems have been successfully used on vehicles, there is a question on how far a remote-controlled platform can be stretched, from a guard tower for perimeter defense or through a mobile platform. SWORDS robots were deployed to Iraq and placed in fixed locations and behind sandbags because senior officials were not comfortable using them to seek out and shoot enemy combatants. Kinetic North America has stated that SWORDS was deployed for six years and performed the combat role of serving the protection of a site. The Maneuver Center of Excellence at Fort Benning asked for a demonstration of Mars in fall 2013, and the Marine Corps continues to investigate the possibility of employing it. How does this marvel of technology operate, and what kind of damage can it inflict? 
The robot is remotely operated by a human operator, who can control the robot from a safe distance. Mars's modular design allows for easy customization and upgradability. Various components can be added or removed, depending on the specific mission requirements. Its flexibility allows for the robot to be adapted for a wide range of scenarios. In terms of range and damage, Mars's weapon systems are highly effective. For example, its grenade launcher has a range of up to 400 meters, and its machine gun can fire up to 1,000 rounds per minute. These weapons are capable of inflicting significant damage to a wide range of targets. Development throughout the years. On June 5, 2008, Kinetic announced that it had delivered the first Mars robot to the U.S. military as part of a contract with the Explosive Ordnance Disposal Low Intensity Conflict EOD LIC program. On August 5, 2008, the Mars participated in a demonstration aimed at showcasing its capabilities in both battlefield and urban environments. The demonstration involved a simulated encounter at a traffic control point with a suspected suicide bomber or vehicle-borne explosive. In another scenario, the Mars provided overwatch while a different robot attached an explosive charge to a door for breaching. After the door was blown open, the Mars entered the doorway and came under hostile fire, to which it responded with its machine gun. In October 2013, the Mars participated in testing, along with other systems, at Fort Benning as part of the U.S. Army's Armed Unmanned Ground Vehicle AUGV program. The objective of the program was to find an unarmed robotic platform that could conduct reconnaissance missions and move with infantry units to engage and destroy the enemy. The tests included moving to a firing point, firing an M240 medium machine gun at targets up to 800 meters away, and then leaving the area. The reliability of control at various distances was also examined for safety reasons. The effect of the machine gun on the platform was reviewed to observe how the size, weight, and stability of the platforms affected accuracy at range. It's important to note that the armed ground robots were not autonomous and always had a human controller. On January 28, 2015, the Mars was showcased at a U.S. Marine Corps Defense Expo. The Marine Corps Warfighting Laboratory is interested in having an unarmed UGV like the Mars, to provide more firepower on foot patrols, since medium machine guns are typically not taken with them. It can also stand post for up to 12 hours, or be left in sleep mode for more than a week. With a handheld controller, an operator can receive a surveillance feed from thermal and video cameras. However, the Marines found the Mars to have some limitations, such as being too small to ram through doors to enter a room, and too big to move smoothly through tight corridors. But how is it controlled and used in the field, and the potential consequences and ethical concerns associated with its deployment? Don't miss out on this fascinating topic. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more interesting content. Modular Advanced Armed Robotic System, Mars Robots, can be controlled and used in a variety of ways, depending on the specific mission and circumstances. One option is for a human operator to remotely control the robot from a safe location, using a control system that includes a camera feed and other sensory inputs to provide real-time information about the robot's surroundings. Another option is to program the robot with a set of predetermined instructions. Mars robots can be used for a wide range of military applications, such as perimeter security, reconnaissance, and direct combat. They can also be deployed in civilian environments, such as tasks for disaster response and law enforcement. Where have modular advanced armed robotic systems already been deployed? And where are they set to go next? Which modern conflicts and wars have seen the deployment of these cutting-edge machines? And how are they changing the face of military operations? The modular advanced armed robotic system, MARS, has already been deployed in several locations around the world by the United States military including in Iraq and Afghanistan. They have also been used in various military exercises and training operations, as well as for homeland security and law enforcement purposes. As for future deployments, it is difficult to say exactly where the Mars will be used next, as its deployment is generally decided on a case-by-case -case basis, depending on the mission requirements and strategic objectives. 
regarding its role in current conflicts. The Mars is playing an increasingly important role in modern warfare, as military organizations seek to leverage the advantages of robotic systems in combat operations. With that said, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. Also, press the bell icon so you never miss an update. See you in the next video.